Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianna, and this is Brianna B. Love's channel. Um, I'm kind of trying to come up with a name for this channel. I've always called this channel Brianna, by the way, so maybe they'll be there. I don't know. I'll find a name that's kind of cool and suiting for this channel. Today's video is January's recap and February's recap, and I think 2020 for me has been a whole year, new year of discovering me and figuring out who I truly am. So let's roll into the video. Hey, hey, blow up. So actually, on January 1st, we celebrated my grandpa's birthday. My grandpa actually turned 74, I believe. And we all went out to dinner at this, like, little, like, like kind of, like, logging house. Um, and it was really good, and I had a really good time because my grandpa is obviously my number one reason why I am here. And um, he inspires me to be amazing at what I do and love him to death. So just to be able to share his birthday with him was amazing, and yeah, that was really cool. I also went and saw Stop. If you guys do not know what Stop is, I recommend going to see it. It's always at the McComb Center, maybe every two years or every other year, and we've gone and seen it uh, 2015 and then 2020. Um why I recommend going is I love it I love every time I've went and I think it's a new unique different way if you're into band choir music I think this really brings out some of your internal parts of you and um this is stomp I absolutely love it. It is amazing. It is somewhat the best thing that I saw this year. And it is amazing. Um, one of them is actually was a hometown star. So that was really cool to see that like that happen. And um it was amazing. So if you guys do not know what Stomp is, I am going to explain it to you. It is where they use, it's kind of like a, like a, sh like a, I don't want to say like a shed, but like, like a warehouse type of shed thing. And they use all different kinds of, um, gallon drums, drumsticks, cans, um, like paint cans, like green bean corn cans um suitcases um all sorts of things and it's really really cool if i can find a video i'll try to add it in here i was trying to find another picture just besides the one that's on this front but it looks like that's maybe all they have um but yeah this is if i can blow it up here but I think it's a really cool, like, program, and I love seeing it. It's really cool and really amazing, and I loved all the actors that were involved. They call it an actor, but, uh, like, these people that do this, because it is skill. It's a lot of talent, so, um, yeah. What I discovered out in January was really just trying to define myself. I think that I was... 2019 not myself for a while and I really brought myself down because of that I've learned to change and I've learned to be myself and no matter how crazy I am and I think that's what kind of brought me on my comfort shell a little bit is I wasn't changing for anybody else but myself <sighs> sorry I feel like take a deep breath I'm like but I think I truly felt it. I 
started getting new clothing that I never had before. And just to mention an idea, bodysuit. Because I always love to tuck in my shirt sometimes, but I love them. And they became like one of my new best friends. And I love them. <laughs> and I just started realizing that just because I'm this much, I'm, you know, this many pounds. And, but I'm still living my life the way I want to live my life. Just because I'm this, this, and this is not what defines me. As you can see, I'm smiling. I've never smiled before. Uh, I have become so self-conscious of my smile. I never used to smile. I was like, <laughs> but now I'm actually smiling on camera and smiling and being happy. And that's what truly is every day I sit here in this lovely bed that I've gotten and I wake up every morning and I look, I open the blinds and I look outside and I go and I just watch the sunrise and I just think today is not a downfall day, it's not a day where I'm upset, I'm mad, I'm angry. Yeah, of course, we all have those hours, those days of the week where we're like, ugh, but this is not. <laughs> and I think that's what I really, truly discovered about myself. And to take things slower and give things time. I think that's also another reason that I've truly discovered myself. And I think through your middle school years, you truly do discover who you're gonna be and I also think in your high school years you do that too um <laughs> it's just I know that finding what I want and what I need is going to be hard but it's never impossible and like someone always told me is if you can dream it you can do it I'm <laughs> sorry it's like tearing up um if you dream it, you can do it. Nothing's impossible. Um, so I kind of take those words every single day and just like play with my hair and just be myself. And that's definitely what I want to do here on this channel is be myself. Um, three years without my grandma. That day was hard because I was at a basketball game. My grandma always knew I wanted to be in sports. I cheered. I went, first year I cheered was the year that she came to see me, and after that I just did one more year of cheer just for her, and realized that, yeah, I love cheer, but it may be not my thing to go into. So when I was at the basketball game, you know, I was thinking that week, I'm trying out for basketball, and it was, I think, the real objective of, yeah, this is what you want, <laughs> this is what you need, but do you really know, like, and I think just with my grandma being gone for three years, it's kind of built a void in my heart, where I'm more like, I'm doing these things for certain people, and maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a friend, Maybe it's just because I want to do that, and I think that's what we truly achieve every single day, or at least I do. So moving on for that, I tried out for basketball. Last year, in 2018, I could, or 19, I couldn't because of my mom having cancer. So I was very down about that because I was like, you know, basketball was something that I loved and I do love it. I still love it. Um I start got I started getting more and more into it um this year than I was last year and when I tried out there was only I think thirteen girls that tried out <laughs> and we needed a team of fifteen. So I ended up keeping everybody um on the team and I didn't play this year but I was a team manager, and I still got to travel to every away game through bookkeeping, which I love doing bookkeeping. I think it was 
very interesting because I'd never done bookkeeping before and I think it was just great and then um I did practice here and there I did you know want to achieve the dream of playing just never really did and I'm gonna talk about why um I didn't achieve this but I can let's get um um, we did scrimmage basketball, which I thought was really cool because it was the first time I was experiencing basketball in the way um, middle school level played it. So I think that was really, really cool. And I think it was just a really cool idea because it was the f one of the first games that I could actually manage and do and do stuff with, which is really cool. I went and I... For my 6th grade year, I played dodgeball. My 7th grade year, I didn't. And my 8th grade year, I played dodgeball. <laughs> and I kept switching from team to team. And here and there, and all blah, 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 blah. And I was not great at dodgeball, but I did pretty good. Um, our team got knocked out in like the first round, which was upsetting, but... I also got hit in the head with a dodgeball by some of my friends and I got mad but I grew up, I got over it and I kind of just took the win for myself because I was fine, you know, everyone's like, oh my god, Bri, I got racked in that, <laughs> racked, hit in the head and I was fine, I was like, let's go because it gave me more comfort, so, um, I also found out in January, I was the Civic Club Princess with one of my friends that he is the Civic Club Prince and this year I was like, oh my god, I finally got my first crown of like a pageant or anything like that. I think that was really cool and I can't wait for the journey, like the, what the journey brings. and. I think that's truly a discovery that we're all trying to discover and I think that really boosts my confidence up. I was at Winterfest on Friday, on that Friday and I was on TV. I'll put in a clip here. I was actually on TV and Clarelyn Clifford from Channel 7 shouted me out. Thank you Clarelyn Clifford. I love you. Um, I was shouted out on TV. Um, <laughs> it was a dream come true. I went home and I like watched it and I didn't think I was gonna make it on TV, but I did and it was a great feeling knowing that and I shake it off every day thinking, you know, wow, I'm really doing something with my life. I'm really passionate about going through the community and helping out the community because I feel like in New Baltimore where I live, is a close connection that this is a very small town and we all come together in a time of healing and i also got to go to the polar plunge and be recognized and i just like waved to the fans out there it was like yeah bro i'm brianna um so that was cool so the mccombers performed too i will put in a clip because i have a clip of the mccombers when i saw them they're amazing. I love them. Even though it was a two hour show, it was still pretty good. I loved it and that was really cool. I also met Carter. Carter is a basketball baseball player and he was just, I met him through going to Jimmy John's game and we started talking and then we kind of drifted apart. But I think meeting him really boosted confidence level of greatness and helped me so you know it was really great so now we're on to February basketball season we went seven and three and I think that was really good because losing those three games was okay but to be seven and three um and we're not counting one because of the coronavirus now and our season got canceled so um we're seven we were seven we ended our season seven and three i was really happy you know getting all these wins and 
being an eighth grade quality team and I think that's really great but a lot of people asked well Bri why didn't you play um what went on I actually ended up in injury I was uh very sad about that I I still have problems with what I'm going through right now and basically it's where the bottom of my foot is the muscles trying to stretch out and it becomes so painful that any pain any sport you play even when you walk it hurts <laughs> so I have to wear these boots that look like transformer boots like I look like a transformer when I walk in them um, I have to wear those at night and it sucks and I've had to wear support ankle things for my feet just so that my ankle would be supported and that that muscle can stretch and it was really sad because I was not going to practice because of it and that's what boss made me lose my spot of becoming on the team and playing um but we all know that things happen for a reason and it's definitely true <laughs> um spring training season came and I was happy because I get to see you know everyone play and be happy and you know seeing young prospects that I I can in the future tell my children hey this I remember, I was 14 and I remember watching this kid you know pitch and now look at he's up in the majors you know and I think that's what's really cool about the experience of being somewhat a Tigers fan I don't want to call myself an over excessive Tigers fan because I'm not I do have a love for the Detroit Tigers and there's a reason for that and I'm not gonna mention on this video but it's definitely spring training season I love seeing all the new kids be here all the young you know pitchers catchers batters it's really cool um mom's b day it was really cool we celebrated that a little bit which was really cool um i went to nationals for dance cup and for my personal dances i got a two and then our team got a one which was really cool i really enjoyed that experience enjoyed being with everyone and dancing my heart out which definitely what I love to do. I spent time with my grandparents a lot. We went over to my grandparents a lot and, you know, spent some time with them because it's always cool. You know, it's, you never know when they're going to not be here. So it's very cool to spend time with them and I love to do that. So it's really cool. I went to solo ensemble and that was pretty cool. I think, um, it really boosted my confidence level um I got a two on my solo and our whole group got a one so I got some medals for that and that was really cool and then I also found uh, there's two other things I need to mention in this video one I found out I'm getting these lovely things off I actually have most of them off right now the back part of them off right now just kind of have the front March 24th I'm getting them off and I'm gonna have a retainer obviously I guess I don't have to explain my retainer colors to you because you already know what they are and they're gonna be sparkles so that's really cool um that I'm not gonna have these anymore and I think I kind of like it because I don't like having to talk like the way I'm talking every single time like I've gotten used to talking with my braces but you have to like accustom to talking with them so it's like really weird but I'm glad and also you guys may have noticed um I really snapchat instagram a little bit of tiktok that I have now <laughs> look at this hair 
it is as short I've never had it this short I mean it's growing but I've never had it this short <sighs> she cut almost like my bangs are like down here or like wait huh they're like not that's like my short hair but my bangs are cut like very very shorter than they were and um like not to the point where i have bangs but yeah <laughs> i mean it's pretty short it's like right here so it's like not that i mean it's short <laughs> it's not long um and i think that's just really truly a nice personality change and like to me it's like i like having this type of hairstyle because it's so much easier to keep it in like the style I want to and like do everything with but yeah um thank you guys for watching my February or my January and February review of the month and be tuned be, be tuned stay tuned because every month like I said is a new one and I think that I get to explain my month to you. It like really breaks down like a recap of everything. And yeah, also some new changes on this channel is there will be an intro. I am making two intros and I think they're very great. And the one I'm trying to get to work into my videos and yeah. <laughs> um, so we're working on that, but new changes are I am posting every Monday and Thursday. If I have to, I'll post on the weekends, like maybe a little something or whatever. But I think this is really going into effect where we are posting every Monday and Thursday. So you, YouTube ideas are totally suggested. Um, you know, every we are, we've already planned it. Or we already booked out in advance all the way to the end of April of what we're going to do. And I think that this will keep me posting more on YouTube. And um, not sitting around and being like, people be like, hey, where did Brie go? Brie hasn't posted a new YouTube video. No, guys, I am. I'm working on it. And I think that that is very fun, very courageous, and a good idea. And love it and um i don't think there's any other things um to tell you guys but yeah <laughs> now it's consistent posting and it's it's great it's lovely and it's helping me out a lot more so thank you guys for watching i'm brie peace out